Hello, good morning, and welcome back to a fantastic morning out on the boat. Now we have a lot of bad weather coming, and I thought I would just try and really quickly grab a morning session. I'm just drifting around for bass. Now this is this is really easy, relaxed fishing. I love this type of fishing. All I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be free lying, free lining live prawn, and I'm going to be float fishing live prawn. Now I've got a free lined bait out there with just like a tiny, tiny bit of lead on. We are in 25 feet of water, and we are just drifting along. And the live prawns are. You can see them there. They're all going crazy. These are. Now it took me it took me 10 minutes with my homemade prawn net to collect these and literally the tackle I've brought has fit, fit in my little man bag. I am just fishing uh, two O Cox and Roll Mutsu circles on a length of 15 pound fluoro. I've got the the white rod up the back has already got a bait out. I'm going to rig a float up now and I'm going to show you that before I put it in the water. And the float rig I'm using is incredibly simple. It's just simply a sliding float. So bead, float, weight, swivel, hook length, hook, bait. That simple. Found a big patch of weed on this. Go and try a different drift. Oh, sorry, saw a little bite on that. There you go. That was the free line prawn. I'm sure me cast it out. Go. That's what we're after. about eating that pillar there I would have had that with ah. They always do that balanglass. Just wait for you to pause for the camera and then they give it a good flap. There you go.
just saw the float go down then. That shot off. Having much luck here today. I think that was a little ballon rast that there on the live bait. But that fish there, I don't know how that popped it so well. It's a good job we're only doing this for fun, isn't it? So what I've done is I've put the anchor down. So hopefully swingers nicely where we need to be. Yeah, that, uh, that second bass that I lost was a good one. It's a nice sized bass that. I could tell from the other one, from on the new live bait when, I, when it popped off just another. Before I got to see it, it was a little ras. You could tell by the, by the type of bite. When you're freelining like this, and I'm letting it sink just under the weight of the prawns and the little tiny swivel, you can watch the belly in the line. And watch for like a little twitch. I watch for it to start to tighten up a bit. That's, a, that's an indication that the fish has picked it up. Here's a nice ballon rat. You're going to calm down, let me take it forward. Fish like a bit of structure, so I'm trying to fish me float near those posts. Obviously I can't give it too much, because if a decent fish picks it up and goes round one of them it'll snap me off. There's a bite. Just see like a pluck on the rod. Back again.
it's very rare do you get deep hooks through circles. Gorgeous bass, isn't it? There have been an awful lot of trigger fish caught this year. And they do like structure. Bits of piers and rocks. And piers and rocks and what have you. So I'm always holding out a little bit of hope for a trigger fish. That is what circle hooks are designed to do. Just sit just in the corner of the mouth. Oh, the lovely stem. Cracking fish, aren't they? I look past. That one there, just as I tugged the float, it must have just flicked the prawn up in the water. That's him. There you go. Yeah, I might have missed it the first time, but I got it the second time. That was weird, that. Might even be in a situation now where it's got no bait on it. Just the float lifted up in the water. You get a lift. It's called a lift bite. It means that a fish has picked the bait and the weight up and come up in the water. Do enjoy this type of fishing, just a bit of fun. Went and collected some bait. Went and collected some live prawns near the boat. Just fishing light. I mean See how far off I am, I haven't gone a long way. Just having a play. savage bite. <laughs> Just put the rod down to try and pop the float out. Typical that. That was a real good bite. I hope it shows up on the camera. I've only maybe got 10 prawns left.
Yeah, this freelining rig, this is literally how simple it is. It's just a swivel and a hook length with a hook. And it's just the weight of the prawn and the swivel that sinks it. Problem, I know whichever rod I put down is going to be the one that gets the bite on. <laughs> I've lengthened the float, sat it over there near them pillars. Because I'm hoping if there's going to be anything like a decent sized bass, decent sized raft, it's going to be out there under those pillars. It was a really rattling bite. Sure it was going to be a little tiny rasp the way it was going but no it was just just because it was a little tiny schoolie. Oh. You always do seem to get more spy <laughs> more damage from these ones. The size of them. All these are a spike. I've got a big spike on back of there. A big spike on there. And they've always got loads of attitude with these tiny ones. Well, he's done me. <laughs> Prawns that I've got left are looking pretty pathetic now, with there are only the little tiny ones left. Nice chunky one. There you go. A lovely looking bass, isn't it? A nice one right under the boat. Again, just a free line prawn on a little circle hook. Now these circle hooks, these are two O's. Three O's or four O's would be good as well. You can catch big fish on small hooks. You can't catch small fish on big hooks. Right, that's how simple it is. Oh, there's a seal there. Big grey seal just popped up over there, look. I think that's probably going to put an end to our fishing.
Same again. Free land from. Nice little salute from the Navy boys. You must watch the show. Whatever it is down there, I keep missing it. I have three prawns left. Three prawns left, so we'll see if we can't catch a fish with these last three. <laughs> Picked it up and ran then, almost went round one of them pilings. Another lively little schoolie. Right. With the final prawn. Concentration now, concentration. That's weird because there's a fish there. Well that was disappointing. Oh well. out of here now. <laughs> right we've come to the end of the session I've used up all my prawns uh, I don't even know how many fish we've had I lost count wasn't counting uh, had some bass some wrasse no massive fish but some lovely fish in there lost a few landed a few that's how it goes uh, the rigs I was using dead simple nothing complicated at all about a sliding float is there sliding float a little bit of lead with a hook length of about that two and a half feet, three feet of 15 pound fluoro ending in a cox and roll mutsu circle and I think this is a 2-0. 2-0, 3-0, 4-0 all works like this. 
um, and my, my stopper was actually from my course fishing gear because I couldn't find my power gun this morning. I'm just using um, a couple of little light spinning rods. Yeah, just keeping it keeping it light and easy. Uh, free lined or float fished, both worked, both caught fish, both lost fish. I don't know what you want to do about that. If I'd have been fishing one rod, I would have probably land probably had a higher ratio of landing fish, but I wouldn't have caught as many because I was fishing two rods. Uh, I was just a little bit of fun this morning. It is now coming up for eight o'clock. I will um, head home and have a little bit of call it second breakfast. I hope you've enjoyed joining me and. I will see you later.